Buenas a todos. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is John Larucea, and today we're talking about freestyle slalom. More specifically, we're talking about the tricks on one leg and the importance of the edges in this sport. Don't miss it. Okay, so the first thing that we need is, of course, the cones, some good slalom skates. We will need as well a clear surface. So let's place the cones. Okay, we have the cones placed, but before I want to explain you why I made this video. In freestyle slalom and skating in general, the edge is very important. And that's why practicing freestyle slalom is going to give us more skills and more control over the edges. And so with freestyle slalom we can improve any other skating discipline. So it's very beneficial that any skater from any skating discipline tries freestyle slalom. Because this will give us more control, maneuverability and balance. And I think in general slalom skaters are good skaters. This was told to me many times, for instance when I tried speed skating, for someone that never tried it before, I had a pretty good double push, and I believe this is due to freestyle style. Having said that, which are the two basic one foot tricks on freestyle slalom? They are called toss and three. The only difference is how we start the tricks, if we start with inside edge or outside edge. Let's explain it, it's very simple. With the help of this chalk, I'm going to draw the toss first. The toss consists in starting with the outside edge back and then inside edge forward. Outside edge back, inside edge forward. Let's continue with the three. It's called three because we draw a three on the floor. So we're going to do a three, but on the other side. Ok, let's do the practice. I start with the toss. In toss we start with the outside edge back and then inside edge forward. The free leg that is not touching the ground is helping us to go from back to forward. To do that, we keep it in front and then when we have to do the transfer, we kick forward to move forward. Of course, arms and shoulders need to help in this movement. To do the three correctly, we need to kick back to move back and then kick forward to keep going forward. Remember that the free leg that is not touching the ground is very important in these kind of tricks. In my opinion, the three is a little bit easier than the toss. Now I will explain the best entries to these tricks. With this entry for the toss, maybe you will find it a little bit easier because we make the most out of the momentum moving forward to transform it into the toss. To do the three, we start with a backwards cross, kick back and then forward. To learn the three, there is a little progression we can do. So step by step, we start with backward cross and then the left leg comes back on top. So we perform a backward compass. And then from here we follow with a snake forward. So the idea is to do the same, but instead of touching the ground with the toe, we keep the leg in the air. Notice that right after crossing backwards, the leg kicks backwards and then forward, making this move look fluid. From here we can start adding spins, we can start adding transitions like day night, fish leg, we can have many tricks on one leg, but for me these two tricks are the base for practically everything. Because we have inside edge, outside edge, forward and backward. If we do both tricks, we have four edges. 
Notice also that there is something interesting happening. One trick is complementary with the other. It means that if we do one trick with the left, we can do the other one with the right, spinning in the same direction. Then we would be using both legs and four edges. Let's see it. This movement is maybe a little bit more complex, but it's quite beautiful and we are using both legs. Lastly, I will show you a variation of the toss. We're gonna do a toss and then finish it with a seven. Seven is just the speed. Let's do it. See how I start like a normal toss, I kick forward to move forward, but then I follow the movement of the spin with the free leg to finish forward. Well skaters, I think that's been all for today. I hope that you liked it, I hope that it was useful for you as always. This video has been a little bit more advanced, more intermediate for people that already practice freestyle slalom. As always, I say that the most important is the balance on one leg and the control on the edges. And these kind of tricks and drills are specifically to improve this. So I encourage you to try it, I encourage you to train it. And as always, let me know in the comments anything you like. So cheers guys and see you in the next video.